you know, I always cheer for BYU, but when they can reflect the values of the church and of the university, another it's another gear and it's deeper and it's more meaningful. I've got a quote here from Kalani that I just love. He says, more than anything, BYU's success in the Big 12 depends on keeping our faith and our belief in what we know to be right. Having faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's first and foremost of BYU. If we work through that, everything else will work out. Jesus is the great example that we can follow. It works in personal life, in business, and it definitely works in football, especially at BYU. And I, I believe that. I believe when we chase after something else at BYU, not only do we miss our core purpose, but it won't work at BYU. These teams have to be grounded in the mission of the university, just like everything else at BYU. Winning expands the platform. Yeah. But here's the tension. The temptation is, okay, so if winning will do this, then we need to win at all costs. And that, that, that's what you know, Shane Reese and Keith Vorkink and Tom Homo and Coach have to preserve. And we want them to succeed. We want them to be successful. But there are a lot of pressures coming on college athletics today. And it could be very tempting to become just like another college team and think the ends justify the means. We have to do it the right way, and we're going to continue to have pressures to be different. I just am so grateful for the coaches we have, the players we have, the athletic administration, this president. Um, but I'm also grateful for the governance that's in place at BYU to keep it grounded to its core mission and its core purpose. And as much as I love cheering on our Cougars, there's a deeper reason we cheer for them. And that's because of the mission of Brigham Young University. Thank you for watching The Wise Guy. If you like what you're watching, you can help us out by subscribing and hitting that notification button.